No, it isn't. Welcome back. Happy Easter. We are back as promised for the third series of how to use chopsticks and eat it with popcorn. And so the first thing I'll definitely want to show you is how you use your chopsticks. But chopsticks. <laughs> All right. So to prevent, you know, eating like this, to, uh, to, you know, not get your fingers dirty or get your fingers dirty. Using chopsticks is pretty easy. First of all, the first chopstick, you want to make sure it never moves. I don't know if you can see. You see, it's, this is the way that I do it. This, there's more than one way. And, um, but this is the way that works for me. And so basically, if you see, I have it stuck between my ring finger and in between my thumb and my index finger and it's not moving. It's the kind of uh, the pressure between the two. And then I take the top one and I just want to make sure that like the chopstick is not, not like this but it's even like this. And I just, oh, such a hard angle. <laughs> but as you can tell, I can, the, the thumb is actually across both chopsticks. And then the index finger and my middle finger is what steers the rest of it. So imagine if you want to demonstrate how you use it, eating popcorn. Go ahead. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yes, it can be a very elegant um Yeah, go ahead. My way how you use chopsticks is my mom uses this finger. <laughs> I use <laughs> the middle finger. <laughs> I put it like this so there's just like one kind of ear finger remaining. And I snap it like that. I don't know if you can see. And I take my other chopstick and I clamp it on with in between my thumb and my finger. And then I just move my top finger up and down, like that. But my mom uses it like this, where you use two fingers. Yep. See, so you can just develop your own style. You know, you may not even find it necessary. You may just, like, pick it up and start naturally being able to use it. Um, I'm going to show you just in a, a moment here um, what other uh, things chapters are really good for. So hopefully this video inspires you to have a pair of chopsticks with you wherever you go and in your home because it's an awesome piece of uh, tool to have and also what uh, what should our next video be about stay tuned for uh, the next video about um, money management with Imagia uh, how to you know implement money management with your child in the home okay how's that sound mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. all right until next time What am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, another good reason to use chopsticks <laughs> is for flipping bacon. You can put it off and I keep the... And it protects the non-stick pan too. Okay. Missing out on a lot. Lovely. Whisking of the eggs with chopsticks, another good reason to use it. Alright, good, good.